Hi, you're with Chandeep at Gurli and let's take a look at the average A function in Excel. Now, let's say for example, we have uh, months from January till December and we have the sales of all those months. And for instance, the month of March was a holiday month and we did not sell any products in that month. So somebody just wrote manually as holiday month. Now, let's say for example, I am normally calculating the average with the average formula. So I'm just going to write equals to average and take the average of all uh, you know the data here and press enter this is going to give me $3,900 approximately $3,900 now let me just take let me not use the average formula and let's take the average manually so I'm going to say equals to sum take the sum of all these numbers this is going to give me about $43,000 and this then divide this by 12 why 12 because we still have 12 months no matter we had a holiday in one month but that month is still going to be counted right so press enter now if you take a look at this average differs than this average why because the denominator here is 12 it is still counting this as well right and here the denominator is 11 so it's taking the sum of 11 cells and then dividing it by 11 not 12 so that's that's the difference so the average a function actually gives you this average not this right the, it takes care of any of the text in between as well so what i'm going to do is equals to average a and pick up the values close the bracket press enter and uh, it gives you about 3597 dollars so i'm just going to press ctrl z so that we have this data as well and then write the average a function once again so average a and now you can see that this matches this right so that's the average a function thank you so much for watching this and i hope you like this you can also follow us on facebook or on twitter and you can also read the blogs at goodly.co.in take care of yourselves bye bye